first of all, I'm a huge fan of this franchise, and you guys are great additions to the John Wick franchise, but Thank chat you. me up a little bit about your characters. Sure. Um, well, I play a character called the Adjudicator, who is there to um, enforce the binding rules of this shadowy assassin world of the High Table, you know, and my character plays an integral role in um, the adjudicating of John Wick, who has broken um, one of the most important rules, which is no violence uh, within the uh, Continental Hotel, and he's killed a member of the High Table. And now there's this $14 million bounty on his head, and so the Adjudicator, as I said, is there to enter the world and say, look, you broke this rule, you thought you could get away with it, but actually you can't, and so here's your punishment. Um, and so that's the Adjudicator, yeah. Mark, your, your character has quite a respect for John, but talk to me about yes. him a little bit. Yes, well, Zero is uh, a shinobi ninja warrior. He has students, and um, you know, in his, yeah, he, one of his last missions, he uh, kind of overstepped the boundary and was also deemed excommunicado until the adjudicator, you know, comes and sets him back on a mission. Um, Zero has massive respect for John Wick because in our world, John Wick is the man. Mm -hmm. And uh, Zero loves him, respects him, you know, wants to be like him. And in his mind, uh, those two would be just buddies if the adjudicator didn't have, didn't want Zero to take him sure. out, yeah. you know? So, um, you know, the wonderful thing is that uh, you know, it's it's the best day of his life or best days of his life because he gets to kill, which he which he's great, great, loves doing. You know, one of the guys that he loves so much. It's 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 a win-win situation. Now, um, Chad Chad's a former stuntman, and he he's obviously the director of this film. Uh, is there anything that in this film that you guys took away that was just shocked you about Chad with the way that he uh, kind of choreographs his stunts? And eighty-seven eleven is a huge part of this as well. So, is there anything, you, especially you, that took away as being a, an action movie star? Well, doing the f finale fight scene, and thank you, but doing the finale fight scene, uh, there was. A, a move that, that Chad thought would be really cool for John Wick to do on Zero. And uh, it appeared that Keanu didn't quite know what this move was. Mm -hmm. So Chad, instead of asking an, uh, one, of the, one of the wonderfully talented stuntmen to do it, he just goes over and works with the stuntman and, and jumps up and does this crazy move. And I thought, well, that's our director. He's, you know, he's excellent. <laughs> he's doing it. I yeah. mean, he's excellent. You know, fantastic martial artist. And the Keanu looks at him and is like, huh. And then he gets up and gives it a couple tries and you know and there he's doing it himself so uh, I mean what was amazing was that you know Chad with his skills is able to lead, lead us and he prepared Keanu so well and Keanu's done so much hard work that he himself is an excellent martial artist mm -hmm. which is why we were able to do these long you know long 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 sequences sure you know because they had the training he has the training Keanu has the training yeah